Godzilla and King Kong had a monster weekend at the box office. And Wonder Woman is about to kick Josh Whedon's beep. That and more movie minds. Movie minds. Hey guys, this is Ish. And this is Ant. And we're Movie Minds, where we keep you up to date with all the movie news, reviews, and some shows. And guys, check us out on all our social media platforms, guys. On Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, all of that great, great mm -hmm. stuff. Check us out. Please become subscribers, guys. And don't forget to subscribe and push the button for this show also. And just, you know wait for our future content because we're yeah. going to be releasing every week oh, yeah. as usual yeah but other than that let's go on to worthy mentions worthy mentions guys we have dc news here off the get go some pretty disappointing news because i know a lot of people were mm -hmm. looking forward to new gods in the trench but dc films shelving those two franchises mm -hmm. with ava DeVernay. uh directing uh, New Gods and The Trench, which uh, James Wan, the director of Fast and the Furious, about a lot of those yeah. crazy Conjuring movies also. Um, so this is crazy this news. is really crazy news because yeah. a lot of people have been talking about this New God yeah. uh, franchise starting, and yeah. then all of a sudden, DC, yeah, what do you it, think? It looked like it was moving forward pretty well. I was really excited about The New Gods. I'm pretty sure that Justice League's, um, well, Zack Snyder's Justice League, cut that just came out on hbo might have changed some minds especially seeing dark side in in, a, in like in action and having that presence on screen maybe they had some second thoughts because dark side is very very connected to the new god so oh really mm -hmm. and because they're not going to do that whole snyderverse thing it's probably why they shelved it right maybe who knows but that really does feel like it though i mean these guys mm -hmm. still get paid right if they did any, any i think work. they signed contracts and they also said that um that they these two directors were attached to those um movies if the movies ever get green lit again in the future so yeah, there's That's some cool. security there. Well, we'll see. Maybe we'll get him. We'll someday, I'm sure we will, but just not for now. Anyway, yeah. another news: a really big trailer, guys. The Loki trailer from Disney Plus just dropped on everywhere basically i just yeah. always say youtube because yeah. that's where i watch that's them but watch i'm them. sure even on cable yeah <laughs> um yeah. i just don't have cable um but yeah the <laughs> new loki trailer just came out dude Thoughts? dude that was so freaking good i didn't know it was going to be this like intense like the production value and uh, uh the, even the storyline sounds so good the timeline thing Dude. So that's what I'm a little confused about because I did see it. It was amazing. I yeah. saw that the Bifrost is a thing in yeah, the... Yeah, it seems like it. It seems like it's going to be. Mm -hmm. What is it going to be really about? Is this company, because I'm not too familiar with it to yeah. be quite honest with you. Is this a company that's looking out inward to everything that's going it, on? It looks and like they're it. making sure that they put everything back it looks like they're time Be cops. R exactly. Yeah. Uh -huh. Exactly. That was uh -huh. a great way to yeah, say yeah, it. Yeah, it looks like it. I, don't get me wrong. Luke Wilson or Owen Wilson. <laughs> Owen Wilson, it, yeah. Owen Wilson. <laughs> I love him. Perfect. Seeing uh, him, uh, yes. him with Loki. Oh, he's so cool. Bro, I can't I can't wait for, for the dialogue between them and just watch <laughs> yeah. it all. But what do you think, man? I mean, wow. like, time, like, I don't get it. Yeah, well, Loki, How's this gonna fit in? Loki broke the time. Uh, he broke a timeline. And they mention and, it? And they mention it, of yes. course. And so now they're recruiting him for, I don't know why, but maybe the person that broke it needs to fix it type of story plot. I don't know. But... Dude, it looks really, really cool. I want them to go back in time in different places, dude. I want to see them in Avengers 2 fighting Ultron. Oh, my God, that, dude. And, like getting a hold of, like, I don't know, the Tesseract again, another timeline. I just want them to go back and just touch on little brief moments like they did in WandaVision where they yes, showed the origins absolutely. Of, of, of Scarlet Witch. And they might do that. They might do cool. so They're going to do some really great stuff. Even right now, Falcon Winter Soldier is getting a little bit more interesting, to be quite honest. Yeah. I didn't like the first show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second show was uh, a little bit more, but the third show was really, really good. So we'll see what happens yeah. there. Also, the Space, Man, the Space Jam 2 uh, trailer came oh, yeah. out with, with LeBron. Yeah. Very underwhelming, guys, to be quite honest. That's why yeah. we're not really talking too much about it. Yeah, but, but it's out there. It's out there, and we'll see what happens. HBO Max, I'm going to watch it. I'm definitely going to watch it. We're going to review it. it. <laughs> they better come out with a song just as good as, I believe I can fly. Untouchable. That Untouchable. one was on the first one, so Untouchable. we will see. But those are your worthy mentions. Yes, yeah, so let's go on to Hot Tops. Hot Tops. 
All right, guys. So this week uh, that just passed, Godzilla versus King Kong had a crazy week and um, a 48.5 million as a debut, which is incredible because it was also on HBO Max and it was fighting against a pandemic. So, dude, what a cr crazy, crazy number to have. Um, it broke records, of course. And, well, yeah, man, let's talk about this crazy movie. 236 million worldwide. Worldwide. China, all these places. 236 million is not chump change, guys, especially for what we're going right now, obviously, in the country with the pandemic not being completely over. But yeah. still, my hat's off to Adam Winward. You guys did great. The movie was also great. Mm -hmm. It had a really great moments. I'm not going to say it was great. I shouldn't say great, but I should say it was very good. And so overall thoughts on it was yep. I felt good about it. There's some things that we'll get into right yeah, now. Yeah. But the movie in itself felt like a blockbuster movie, which was the, uh, the, the – that's what they were going for, and that's what they, yeah. they uh, accomplished. Honestly, really? this movie – should have been a summer movie. Yeah, it really should have, man. It should have. But the but the strategy from Warner Brothers releasing it uh, in during this time, it's I don't know if they really planned that out. Like, who told them about this time? Because like the you know a lot of things are are for them. You know, no other movies on the playing field. Uh, uh, uh the 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 what is it called? Vaccine is out there now. A lot of people, yeah. are, even you, are vaccinated now. I right? got one. I got one more to go. Yeah. So it's a great, amazing time. And uh, I don't know who made that decision, but wow, they're geniuses. I want to know is this release uh, on HBO Max is it going to change any other studio's mind? Because dude. That was incredible, dude. Yeah, that was that was some great numbers, and I think we're gonna see uh, the uh, Black Widow movie. Yeah, having some really similar numbers to this. Well, this is what I think, and I think that I, I think you, you're all in your in, in you know you're you're definitely good on saying that because yeah. of what you're seeing now. But let's be honest, okay? Yeah. Let's go back to when this whole pandemic Before. thing wasn't around. Okay. A movie like this yeah. would rake in about over a hundred million. Yes. So yes, yes. I think it's a little premature for okay. you to say, or for anyone to say, yeah, that yeah, yeah. this whole thing with the movie yeah. streaming on HBO Max and yeah. then going back to the theaters yeah. is something good. Look, a lot of people didn't go watch so. Godzilla versus uh, King Kong yeah. in the theater, which could have made more money. And I'm one of them because someone killed dreams here. Cinemark killed my dream. He killed my, I was so excited that <laughs> night because we were going to go watch it on Wednesday. I have to say it real quick. We're going to go watch it on Wednesday. And then that night, he told me that he didn't get the tickets. And I was like, I told I everybody. Did, I, I told everybody. I did get the tickets, but they, I didn't get the confirmation email. I don't know why. Anyway, yeah. I was I actually money gloating about going to the to watch it because <laughs> me, a lot too. of people didn't get, get, get tickets. tickets. Yeah, me too. Anyway, I didn't watch it, but I did watch it on HBO Max. Me too. And so I know yeah. that they lost money. The theaters lost money because of it. HBO Max being out there now. Possibly. Don't get me wrong. Absolutely, I'm sure absolutely. it's probably still the pandemic. No. I'm, I'm sure, but it ha hadn't been for for HBO Max. I think this movie without that could have mm -hmm. made a good 70 million. Dude. Yeah, I, I I do agree. The the theater in itself though was packed out. Like I was trying to look for other options, and dude, the weekend yeah. was packed out. I couldn't I couldn't find anything. Sure. So that was really cool. I I love um, the the idea of the movie. Overall, I, I did enjoy. It's it's a good it's a good ride. Like yeah. honestly, overall, um, I did the the thing that I loved the most about the movie though was the axe. That axe uh, that Kong has, um, you'll see you see it in the trailers and stuff like that. Yeah, that thing was freaking amazing. The way that they tied it into the story, that freaking thing was great. But just the the fights and and the fact that spoiler alert, uh, not too much though. Uh, there's three fights in the movie. That was really freaking good. It was really good. My hat's off to Geraldine if you're watching. She called a certain fight in there with a certain person that comes out in it. I like the movie, guys. <laughs> I just felt that the people that came out in it served no purpose, really. Absolutely on the side of Godzilla, yeah. the Millie Joe Brown character didn't serve a purpose. However, yeah. I did love the uh, African-American guy that comes in, and I don't remember his name right now. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Um, but he's so good, guys. The I want to see him. Yes, the podcaster. I, I want to see him in more movies. That's how much I liked him. Yeah. Uh, when it comes to the side of Kong, now they served a little bit more of a purpose, obviously. Absolutely, they were looking yeah. to get into the middle of the core of the earth and how they were going to do it, even though that sometimes it just felt like it was a little prolonged in those areas. And I also probably, I also had 
an issue the way that that uh, they made Kong look a little bit. I don't know why. Maybe it's just because too big or n- uh, I just, his CGI. Yeah, no, I felt yes. First of all, I felt like he should have been bigger. Um, mm. Second, I felt like because of what happens, which I don't want to give away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I felt like oh, I it made him saying. look a certain way that I didn't like, I and so I love the axe part of it. Mm. And mm-hmm. I would have thought that even with the axe, it would have changed a, some things. Mm-hmm. And I don't know. There's a lot of things that I can't say, <laughs> and I don't want to give up. But, guys, the movie was good. I'm going to definitely give it a B-, minus, yeah. um, because it deserves it. And it was really good. And it felt like a popcorn movie, which yeah. was great. Yeah, yeah. I um, I will give it a B as well. Um, okay. I definitely did not like the human aspect of it especially the godzilla part which you said already um i really did enjoy the kong parts though i really enjoyed the little girl and all that other stuff yeah that was good solid b movie guys this is this is one for the books i think a lot of people are going to remember it yeah definitely check it out go check it out hbo max for our second hot top we have some drama 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 for your baby mama uh, yeah. So Gal Gadot clashed with Josh Wheaton on Justice League as he allegedly threatened her career. So we know that Ray Fisher, the the, the guy that played uh, Cyborg, had an issue with with uh, with Josh Josh Wheaton, mm-hmm. and now Wonder Woman is coming out saying that she had some some words there, and uh, yeah. so did Patty Jenkins for that matter. But what do you think, man? Well, um, Josh. Uh, Whedon's uh, career is done. Like seriously, it, it you is, think so? Huh? Yeah, I, I think he's he's done in Hollywood now. Um, uh, messing with Gal Gadot because she's she's a sweetheart, dude. Who yeah. who, who who wants to mess with her? No, she's freaking I, she's freaking a sweetheart, I dude. Mess with her, but no. I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, but, but dude, who who's gonna mess with her, dude? She's oh man, I I just feel horrible for for her. Uh, but. Josh Whedon really screwed the pooch on this one, dude, because he's definitely made a bad name for himself all right. throughout the whole all, all of Hollywood. And the now. thing is that I believe it too, and I absolutely believe it. I mean, there's a few accounts, a few uh, testimonies yeah. saying that he was very open about how he was going to try to ruin her her uh, her, her career. career. Dude, wh- who's the hell who has the balls to actually do that? To say something like that, dude. Do you feel- a egocentric mofo. Yeah, that's what. It absolutely. Is. Do you feel that with her coming out, re solidifies Ray Fisher's allegations towards him? Yeah, I I never doubted what he had to say. I thought that he was being a little bit um emotional, too too emotional, and a lot of things. Especially if if you follow him on Twitter, like I follow him, and I, and I I get why he's so pissed off. But uh, but I do I have always believed him, and this just. Of course, yeah, it does definitely pump up the whole Josh Whedon. Absolutely, uh, yeah, and he's gonna—he's about to come out. Um, I know that they're gonna recently interview soon, as he finally is gonna be talking about it in specific and detail. Mm-hmm. So we'll wait and see Can't what wait. happens. But in these allegations that Gal Gadot also mentioned is that uh, it was things like Josh Whedon saying to her, "Hey, I want you to say this," and she wasn't really wanting to say some of the lines that she that that he was writing for the movie mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and he would tell her i'm the director you do what i say or whatever or because if you don't then i'll have your career or or i'll make sure that you don't work again things like that, yeah. that he said you're you i'm gonna make you come off stupid or something like oh that yeah that, that, that's that's yeah. another thing and that's yeah. when gal gadot <clears throat> and patty jenkins i believe went to the ceo of warner brothers and talked to them and he they you. fixed they fixed it. Of course, they don't want to lose Gal Gadot. You know, absolutely yeah. and not. And Petty Jenkins. And Heck Petty no, Jenkins. Man, absolutely see. not. And so I think because this guy has so many people now saying, because there's other people that overheard things also, yeah. that he was actually gloating yeah, yeah, at the yeah. fact That's that awesome. yeah. I was telling Gal Gadot, you know, I'm like, I'm her boss. It's, you know, things like that. Just yeah. gloating about, you know, being a, you know, a dick. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Thank you for yeah. saying that. And so now, guys, the 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 whole because I'm gonna be honest, not a lot of people believed Ray Fisher, or not that they didn't right. believe him, but they yeah, were yeah. like, "Well, there's, we don't know." There's we, two sides. For we sure. don't know why, and that has a lot. A lot of goes to show as the 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 star power in it, right? Because Ray Fisher isn't that famous, but here comes Gal Gadot, that's really famous. And we believe her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so because we don't believe... I believed Ray Fisher anyway, but I know that yeah. no, a lot of people... You know, Josh Wheaton was still... 
I mean, because he's still directing movies, dude. He, I think he's working on something. I don't remember what exactly yeah. right now, but now after this, last, I doubt that he movie. will be working very, very yeah. soon. Yeah. He's gonna go through it. He's still going through. I like I said, uh, lawsuits with uh, Ray Fisher, and we will see what happens. But guys, I'm telling you, these guys, they, the people with this mu- this much power is dangerous. It's dangerous because people yeah. not always don't they don't know how to handle having that kind of power. And that's what happens in a workplace. So yeah. hopefully it gets all resolved and yep. we'll see what happens. All right. Well, good luck, guys. There you go. Yep. All right, y'all. So let's go on to streaming and chilling. And chilling. Well, everyone had a great Easter weekend. I know I did. It was, it was really cool. Um, I was able to finally watch a movie that came out on Disney Plus. Uh, with premium access, uh, Raya and the Last Dragon, which my niece Raquel suggested, and I was very, very happy and pleased to see you it. Thirty dollars? I didn't. We kind of pitched in all. Everyone oh, okay, good, brought okay. food. Some people brought water balloons <laughs> to to fight with. Other people brought uh, premium access to Disney Plus, and that's what we did. Nice. <laughs> it was cool. Um, honestly, this movie, uh, which is not Pixar, it's a Disney animated film. And it does have CGI and those other great, great it looks features. Good. It looks really good. It's a, it's a, it's a you know new reimagined world called uh, like Kumandra. It? it was really good. I think overall this is a, a great Disney movie. You guys should absolutely watch it. I think it's going to come out on Disney voice? Plus. Um, it is Kelly Marie Tran, uh, oh, which the is the girl from Star Wars. Yep, yep. And so, and Gross. then uh, uh, a a Quaf- a Quafina? Aquafina, yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot. I I'm sorry, yeah, but butcher her name. But she's great, right? She's yeah, yeah. Awesome. She's really she's, good. She's funny. She's super funny. She plays a dragon, so it's it's really good oh, pairing. She plays a dragon. Yeah, really, really good pairing. It's really fun time, That's guys. Cool. Go watch it. it so worth the watch. Cool, go man. Watch it. All right, for my, I'm gonna check it out definitely, dude. Now that you like gave dude. it a, a stamp of approval, yeah, man. Um, I'm gonna pick for this week. Because I just saw it on HBO Max. It's streaming there right now. Go watch it. It's called... I don't know if you guys know this movie. I know I'm, I love this movie. It's called A League of Their Own. Mm-hmm. I just showed it to my wife. And she was crying all over the place. <laughs> um, but it's um, it stars Tom Hanks, Gina Davis, and Madonna. As America's stock of athlete young men is depleted during the World War II, a professional all-female baseball league springs up. And mm-hmm. guys, this... This whole the way that they go about choosing and 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 John Lovett comes out and he's so funny in that in that oh my gosh, I in that seen him in uh, such a long time in that role and he's like the recruiter and he's recruiting these girls and there's one part where there's a girl that's not very attractive and that part makes me laugh so much because the girl's really good at baseball but she's not very attractive and John Lovett's just like ah yeah we can't use her and then it's. Super funny, Tom Hanks. It's th- that's where the whole line. I don't know if you guys ever heard it. There's no crying in baseball. Oh, okay. That's where that line comes from. Yeah. And he is Tom Hanks is the coach. Uh, he can't go to to the war because he has a messed up leg. And so he was an ex ball player, which he had a lot of trophies. He was very very successful. And he trains these girls to be a really good baseball team, and he accomplishes that. But a guy that's really mean that's really hard on people a coach like that when you mix them up with a bunch of girls that are not used to that kind of talk a lot of interesting ha- things happen especially if madonna is in the mix there and so you have oh, yeah, appearances yeah. from rosie yeah. o'donnell do you have a uh, bill it's pullman in it you have a bunch of people that you see that are famous now that came out there that weren't as famous um back then and the movie has a lot of heart dude has so much heart. Mm-hmm. I love the way that they they presented the characters, how they went about, you know, making Gina Davis like mm-hmm. the focal point of the movie that mm-hmm. she was the superstar and she was really good. Also very very beautiful beautiful girl. And so they go through this whole, you know, championship thing with the sister and and Gina Davis's character and, you know, the troubles that happen and it's just a really very beautiful movie and it's a true story it's a true story and at the end you get a really special gift at the end and seeing them grown up and older and you see a bunch of stuff that's really really great anyway guys check it out i i assure you you will (laughs) not regret it okay a league of their own hbo max i'm sure it's on prime as well check it out all right, y'all. HBO Max keeps on giving, man. Bro, doesn't it? It keeps on giving, man. I'm telling you, I'll I'll 
I'll get rid of Netflix before I give it ah, up HBO yes. Max. Yes, yes, yes. Let yes. that be stated here. All right, guys. All right, Thank guys. you for watching. That is our show. Yes. If you guys want to become a movie minder, make sure you guys subscribe right there for us. Press the little bell button. And just, you know, for further notifications, just make sure that you do your thing. I think that's the way you say it. Oh, no, yeah. you press the notification button so you can get inquired about all the future content and yeah. future videos guys yeah. thank you so much for watching and as always and like always stay moving minded moving minded